All right, all right, all right. Fight fans and party people, welcome to Bangkok, Thailand. Full Metal Dojo, the most awesome dojo on the planet. We're in the 37th chamber. John Nutt here with BK. What's going down, fight fans? Glad to be here. And we got amateur MMA action. Again, the dojo supporting the amateurs. And this is ASEAN amateur action. The Philippines versus Thailand. Jack John from Thailand in the blue corner. Rocky Bakhtol from the Philippines in the red corner. Both these young bucks, 17 years old. Man, these young kids come out to fight. I like watching these guys. Yeah, man, they always come to slug. And they got the seven ounce uh, Fairtex gloves on. Seven ounces are always a... Uh, very nice to the dome. Seven ounces to the dome. Yep. Shots in the face coming already. Both guys come through with a flurry of punches. And it's Bechtel that takes him up against the cage and brings him down. Nice job. And uh, Jajun working to get up. Trying to use that overhook to get up. Get his butt against the fence and stand back up and doing a very nice job with it. Yeah, man. And again... Gets the connection of the hands there. Yeah, We're, now he's working that, uh, looks like 100%. You're going to try to turn him around. He's doing a nice job, too. See if he brings him around and then brings up the knees. Again, Jajan, familiar with the Muay Thai, as we are in the kingdom of Muay Thai. And he's, yeah, he's got him locked up pretty good here. You know, really just kind of stalling him out. Well, uh, I've seen Rocky Bakhto a bunch of times here on the circuit. He's fought in cage wars, amateur before, and he is a grinder. And he does, uh, I, again, I like the dirty boxing up against the cage. He does get his dirty box on. Uh, this 100 percenters stopping him from doing that. And the, Yeah, he's really kind of locked up at the moment, just kind of stalled up. It's, it's, it's tough to get out of that when you got it fully locked up. And these guys are small and limber, so they can really sneak it around in there and get it real tight. But it looks like Rocky's still trying to wiggle in and out and get in there. Yep. Referee Jack Tan on top of the action. Good. He's yeah, good, good, good stop, good uh, separation there. Back to slugging it out and ranging each other out here in the middle of the dojo. John again trains with Wisava, one of our fan favorite here. At ooh, 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 Rocky landing some big punches. Ooh. Big right hands by Rocky. I'm telling you, you can hear the Fairtex gloves. Oh, man. Just one, two, then with the uppercut. Big knee there. Again, combinations, punches and bunches, coming in flurries. Ooh, yeah, these kids Ooh. are brawling. Ooh! This is what I was talking about before, John. The young guys just brawl. Yes, and Rocky Beckel with the big takedown right there. Right, nice takedown, and then moves into side control. Look for the knee on belly, possibly going into mount. Yeah, he's holding this position nicely. Going to work to pound him out. You see uh, Rocky Bechtel's pops and JR in the corner. Fantastic to see those guys, the Lion Heads Gym in Bangkok. You should train here. Uh, yep, he's sneaking across. Oh, he Ooh, goes. Great scramble. Oh, they're, they're up. That was very nice by Jajan, you know. Jajan getting out of stuff very well. Yeah, he went to go to Mount Ooh. and just used it uh, that little Deep second to get up. Bro. Boom. A lot of those... Uh, Again, the seven ounces, maybe giving a little bit, and, and, the, and the age, you know? Yeah, yeah. Both exactly these guys, 135 pounds, phantom weight division. For all you uh, fighters out there that don't know, typical MMA gloves for um, professionals is six ounces, and we are using seven ounces. Correct, Amundo. Just a little bit bigger, still much smaller than boxing or movie type gloves. Fantastic sportsmanship shown by both competitors. And again, a fantastic flurry of punches by both guys. Great action here in the really first nice. round. Yeah, very nice. And your opinion? I mean, what, what did you think? Yeah, definitely I got to give the first round to Rocky. He was landing those one-twos plus getting the takedowns. Yeah, okay, fantastic. Uh, but, I, I, you know, you can't count Jajan out. No, no. Ties, there's, you can never count them out. There's still a lot of fight left. As we go into round numero dos. We're international here, so I can use Spanish. It's okay. <laughs> Ooh, and starting off nice to John with some nice straight punches. Yeah, man. And Rocky getting that takedown again right into side control. So this is uh, kind of starting to be the story of this fight. It's been the uh, the takedowns. Well, I wonder again if uh, Rocky, again, he, he's coming with a 6-0 and amateur record to this to this fight. Again, this is amateur. Uh, I get both these guys are very young. But Rocky Bechtel seems to be the more well-rounded MMA exactly. Practitioner. Exactly. Yeah. He, he think. I think he knows he's uh, 
you know, a little better on the ground, and he's definitely uh, better in the takedown. Correct. I mean, he's smashing him up real nice. He's got his, uh, I'm not sure if he's got the underhook or not, but he's still grinding on him very nicely. And body control, I mean, you can see he's bringing up the knees, so he's definitely getting his wrestling on board, you know what I mean? Yeah, he's exposing the inexperience uh, on the ground from Jajon. The blue four points corner and the red Mervin pick corner. We, we, we've talked about this. Yes, Fantastic yes, yes. sponsors. <laughs> Grow the game, if you will. Support the oh, sport. Oh, just Great muscles him there. over. Yep. And works the stand up. Oh, not quite. Rocky just rejecting it. Exactly. Matumbo style, you know, just whatever. Telling him no. Shutting him down. Yeah, Rocky laying on him, putting his weight on him, making him feel it. And it seems like Jajon doesn't have much of an answer on the ground. Just kind of Well, he's actually there. got his, his leg up. I'm, I'm happy to just see that. Yeah, you, you, can, tell see, you, the truth. you can see, you know, he, he knows a little bit, and he's stopping him from coming over to mount, or at least trying to. But um, we've got to do a little bit more from the bottom. Correct. Shrimp, get our guard back, and have work to stand up. Have some sort of submission, out. exactly. Exactly. Some the, sort of attempt. The three S's, you know, sweep, uh, submit, or stand up. There it is. Those are three S's right there. Thank you very much. <laughs> Education, knowledge is power. BK is like one of our ring girls. <laughs> Only better looking. Only better looking. <laughs> As Jack Tan, the man, has seen enough and stands them up. Another good the stand action up. Going, Ollie. I like this. That's why. It's Bangkok, Thailand. You got to get the action going. Exactly. Again, both young bucks coming out with a flurry. Neither of them tired. Jajon Gas tank thrown hard. They're yeah, throwing the Fairtex. Boom. Oh. Oh. Boom. All right, so again, uh, we're going with the, the IMAF rules, the same rules that we use over in Malaysian Invasion. Uh, for those of you who don't, don't know, we're going no heel hooks, no straight knee bars, no elbows, no knees to the head of a grounded opponent, no small joint manipulation or pressure point strikes, obviously. So again, other than that, it's basically the unified rules. But as you can see, no elbows have been done. I, I, I could see right in Jajan's eyes right there that he wanted to throw a little Muay Thai yeah. shiv to the face. By the way, in the future, end of, end of round two, in the future, BK, we will be rocking the shin pads okay. in, with the, uh, you know, the gloved shin pads, the Fairtex shin okay. pads. With the amateurs. With the amateurs. Great takes down there by uh, Rocky Bechtold. So you guys are basically following in uh, the state's footsteps. So back in the day when we used to do amateurs, it was just like this. Basic, except for we used still four ounce gloves, and then it was the exact same, basically just no elbow. So these guys requested the, uh, the old uh, seven, well, they didn't request the seven ounces. They wanted the seven ounces for the amateur as we go into round three, but they, they did not want the shin pads. They, oh, okay, they yeah. requested not to have. Yeah, they want to land those kicks. Both of these guys, come on, they fire it off yeah. like they're doing right now. And Rocky throws yeah, some nice Thailand little again. uppercuts there, and then lands a nice, nice knee, nice knee by Jajon. Nice knee. And let's see if they trade him. Here in the kingdom, both these guys, I'm sure, get their uh, their pad work on. And Rocky working for that takedown and getting it again. Again, right up against the cage. Great family atmosphere going on here. Very nice. Yes. Electric as the as the punches come. Just grinding on it. Yeah, again, Mr. Bechtel really forcing, yeah. forcing the action and uh, forcing the grind. Yeah, Jajon needs to get up. He doesn't like that. You can see the look on his face. He's not liking taking those uh, shots to the face by the Fairtex gloves there. And you know we love shots to the face, but those are just those <laughs> rabbit punches to it. Probably just annoying him more than anything. Yeah, it's still not fun. Uh, it's a very smiley kid, this guy. <laughs> you know what I mean? Again, even right now, he... Just looks like he's enjoying himself. Throwing his legs over, Ooh. maybe going for a leg lock. Yep. What is this? I wonder if he has that skill level in his uh, BJJ well, repertoire. He's going for it, so he obviously knows, you know. And right, right there, they are in the blue four points corner. He and needs to keep that. On. He needs to keep his right leg on his hip, but he kept taking it off. And Rocky coming right back yeah. down, right passing back down. to a half mount, and probably going to do a little more pounding. <laughs> He's a big fan of the old smashing, isn't he? <laughs> yeah. I, I like this as well. Round and pound. G and P, baby. It's all happening. So if this does go to the judges, this is not scored round by round, correct? Yeah, we're going, we're going the, the full baby. You okay. know what I mean? So we score this uh, fight in its entirety. In its, in its entirety. 
Um, which again, you would have to say that uh, you're with me on this. Rocky Bechtel has been on top, has really dominated his oh, game yeah. plan. Yeah, you know, he might not be able to finish. He might not be am amateurs. We're in the amateur zone. No, he had a game plan. He stuck to it. Yep. And uh, if the fight keeps going like this, he's going to win the fight. Of course. So it's grinding it out, though. I mean, again, yeah. he, he looks like a guy who's had a lot more experience than yeah. he actually does. So kudos to that guy. Kudos to his camp. And again, both these guys, young, young, young bucks. 17. Yeah, for sure. I couldn't even read when I was 17. <laughs> what are you talking about? You still can't read. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Here, here, here. <laughs> Four points. <laughs> so Rocky really could actually advance to like a, a better side control or even a mount if, yep. if he wanted to. But I think he's just happy to sit here, grind it out. He knows he's going to win. And uh, looking to get the hand raised is what it's all about. BK. Exactly. Just go home with that. Dummy. As we have a weak horn goes. That is the end of the fight, ladies and gentlemen. A round of applause for both these young competitors. There's Rocky landing some big punches and then getting yep. that takedown. That was the story of this fight. Correct. Getting on top. Yeah, him getting it. Say it, BK. Spit yeah, it. Getting on top, laying the ground and pound. That was it. Getting up under him, picking him up, and putting him down. I'd like to see a little bit more of a level change in the future. Yeah, but, but, but you know, doing good for these, you know, these Asian fighters, they, they don't grow up with wrestling like we do back in the States, you know what correct. I mean? So it's, it's a whole new thing for them, and, and they're doing a, doing a good job. Oh, this kid's doing a fantastic job. Again, kudos to both these young competitors. Ladies and gentlemen, yeah. after three rounds of amateur action, our judges have scored this fight. For your winner, by unanimous decision, in the red corner, Rocky Bechtel! Exactly what we thought, John. That is one exhausted kid there. Congratulations to Rocky Bechtel. Oh, absolutely exhausted as he's given it up. Yeah, and, and nice job as well by Judge John.